Jack, run look over here. Yeah. Jack, let's get it done. <laughs> All right. Who's trying to put it on the sack? We're ready. The strike is not over. Sag after him. We are still here. We are on strike. We have yet to receive the contract from the AMPTP. My wife and I figured that it's probably close to 600 miles we've walked up and down this summer. I don't even like to wear sneakers, so this has been a great sacrifice. <laughs> I'm sure, but yeah, I'm you WTA, can take... And we talked over the weekend, and we were like, we, we was also, obviously, you know, it was in the letter, you've seen the letter, that we should continue to support. And we, you know, we would have never had this leverage if SAG had not gone out. They are very brave to do it. I still, in the, when the history of this thing is written, I cannot believe that anyone planned on SAG going on Skype. It is just, it was not planned for. And it's going to be hard to get them back to work because they're real issues. And they've been treated very disrespectfully, which the writers are kind of a little bit more interested in, I think, or uh, used to, in a way. Uh, not to have like a stone. I, I just know negotiation requires a lot, and uh, Fran's been very impressive. But anyway, that's why we're here. We were like, we're not gonna, we're gonna try. And I put also in a few know there's gonna be a tremendous amount of pressure on SAG too close. Uh, that's what you hear the drum right. beats all asking for, and there are some significant issues still on the table. So we're out here in solidarity and support to show that we'll stay in solidarity and support until the contract reflects what we wanted to. I just out here, now let's pay the actors. But I'm feeling really good about the tentative deal that the WGA has right now with the AMPTP. And I was thinking last night about how at one point in the middle of the summer when we had been out here for like two or three months and it was like 100 degrees, and I came to the picket line here at Netflix right after the actors had gone on strike and this was just full. Like they refreshed our energy. And so today I was like, I'm gonna come out and do for them what they did for us. Cause it felt so good to have that solidarity from the actors that even though we might have a deal, I'm up, gonna come out and support them until they get a deal. <laughs> it's kind of like a divorce where you're like, whoever comes out of the room smiling, I felt like the WJ so I haven't seen all the details obviously yet, but we're gonna vote on it. So I will see those and I feel good. You know, making spaghetti without the sauce. You know, we all need each other. When 150 days in, we're not, I don't want them to stop because they think we all need to get back to work. We're not working without them. And that's, and they got to remember that. We can't work without them. There'll be a writing, people will be planning things. There's not one person, go as a showrunner. I'm a showrunner, there's not one, and Noah's also obviously an actor, writer, none of us are going back to work with non-union actors. And we don't expect to even really do much more than make a lot of planning with a lot of hope. But for me, just like I was for our strike, I hope they're in it, that, they, that they're in it indefinitely. You have to really think that way. I mean, look, it's tentative, but it's an agreement. And it's, it's movement in the right direction. I think there's a tremendous sense of relief, but also knowing that we have a lot of work to do and that this is a three-year interim agreement. There's still a lot to do, but I think it's very important that we all get back to work yeah. with a fair deal. <laughs> and the actors are still on strike. For a hot second, I really thought that this was going to go on until next year. And knowing that at least 
one of us has gotten a good deal uh, gives a lot of hope that we will also get a good deal as well. The, the group, the negotiating group, are stellar people. They're so smart. John August and David Goodman, all the people, Meredith, all those folks are so smart. You have that feeling if they vetted this, we're good. And they're excited. And I, I heard a thing with John August got emotional about how excited he was. So, you know, these are people that we're not going to leave until we got the right sort of terms for our thing. Well, you could fully put your trust Yes. In yeah. Yeah. It's a huge leap, you know, from what we had to what we're going to get, right? So probably there'll be some things that didn't work out 100%, but you have to think overall this is an amazing deal for writers. We're hoping. We're hoping. It. Unions haven't been sexy for a really long time, but I've always considered it a, a privilege to be a part of this union. And the fact that I'm carrying three union cards in my wallet is a real point of pride for me. I couldn't wait to be a member of the Screen Actors Guild. I couldn't wait to be a member of the Writers Guild. And I couldn't wait to be accepted in the Directors Guild. And I realized that that membership means I'm standing on the shoulders of artists who stood on the shoulders of artists who stood on the shoulders of artists who fought way harder than we're fighting to secure protections that run the gamut from basic safety on set to a living wage. And Matt and I have both enjoyed incredibly lucrative and wonderful careers because of those fights that have been fought before us. And so I've just never forgotten that I'm rank and file at heart. And I think it's really important to show up for your union when they're in need. It's, a, it's an incredible and sort of unprecedented time in labor in America, not just for entertainment, but for healthcare workers, auto workers, all sorts of things. So. You know, hopefully this is a, a rising tide and that uh, so many more people, you know, we're finally standing up against these billionaires who for some reason think we don't need to earn a living wage anymore. And that's insane. <laughs> so hopefully we can start healing that and fixing that.